Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So first things first, we have a different location here. I'm filming in my living room. I wanted to just kind of switch it up. Let me know if you like it more in my room or if you like it more here. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, today we have a personal q and I haven't done one and I feel like it's been so long. I actually haven't had the chance to look over these questions, so this is going to be kind of interesting. I got all of these questions off of Instagram and they're all anonymous, so we're just going to jump right into this. Question number one, what do you think about dating in high school? I can make this a really long answer, but short answer is I think you change so much. Those are such monumental years in your life that it's really, really important important to just like truly focus on yourself and I do think it's really important to date other people because you're just like you're learning you're learning how to be with people you're learning how to communicate you're learning what you like and and I think those things are so important um, and that's not to say that I don't think high school relationships will ever work out but I think for the most part and I've seen this with like close friends and stuff who've also you know had a long-term relationship throughout those years they a lot of times just don't work out and it makes sense as to why they don't. Jeans or dress and why? Jeans all the way. <laughs> I'm I'm just like not a dress person. Nick always like wants me to wear dresses, but it's just like not something that I is part of my style, but I, I do enjoy it every once in a while. My style is like an oversized crop t-shirt with some baggy jeans. That's that's my go-to. How long have you been dating your current boyfriend? We've been together for seven and a half months now, which is crazy i feel like it just happened in the blink of an eye but in a way like i also feel like we've known each other for ever are you an introvert or an extrovert i am 100 percent an introvert although i also feel like i've developed pretty good people skills so in a way it kind of fools people into thinking that i'm an extrovert i even get anxiety sometimes thinking about going to a social gathering that i know there's going to be a lot of people people that i don't know and again i don't ever really have a problem with like actually keeping conversation with a person is just more so I can genuinely feel my energy like getting drained out and then I have to go home and be alone and recharge there's like a very small amount of people that I feel like I can be around all the time and not feel like I need a break so when I do find those people it's like a very comforting feeling because it doesn't come around all that often I get down myself a lot about it because I think in a way it makes it really hard to make friends um, sometimes I feel like I might come off not friendly or not interested or just I don't know what it is it's, it's just like it's just hard I get in my own head does the past matter in relationships how would you handle not liking a boyfriend's friends I think the most important thing to remember is whenever you're entering a new relationship whether that be like a friendship or a romantic rela relationship is that that person had a past before you they had experiences before you they had relationships they had friendships they had they have this whole life, right? So does the past matter to an extent? But for me personally, I think you have to start fresh with each person. All that matters is like how that person treats you from the day you met them or from the day that you started your relationship. And I think that's all that really is important. Um, I don't think it's like there's no point in dwelling on the past as well. And if there's something in the past that like might upset you. So just as an example, if you're like a jealous person and then you start digging through your significance other past being like well tell me more about this relationship and tell me more about that oh well how did you feel about her or him or whatever like it's just like you're gonna get in your own head and it doesn't really matter because they're in the past for a reason it's important to get to know the person that you're with but like try and start fresh with them and then the second part of that question was how would you handle not liking your significant other's friends i've never actually been in a situation where i didn't like my boyfriend's friends. Knowing myself and not being a confrontational person, I would probably just note in my head and be like, well, I don't really wanna hang out with those people and that's it. My philosophy is always like, if you really genuinely love and care the, about the person that you're with, then you can let them know that, and you can not let them know your feelings and let them know where you're coming from. But one, never try to make them choose between their friends or their family or any of that and you because that's just a horrible position to put someone in and two just realize that like if you don't like someone you don't have to hang out with them and that shouldn't affect your relationship again this is just a very general answer to that if you're in a healthy relationship you don't really want to make life hard for that person unless your friends are genuinely like horrific people then um try to find like things that you have in common or just if you truly don't want to be around them you don't have to be what's your biggest regret as a teen my biggest regret <laughs> oh there's quite a lot no i'm kidding um 
My biggest regret is the way that I acted sometimes towards my mom. I wasn't as considerate at that point about her feelings or her thoughts and I just, you know, I just wanted to do my thing. I just wish I would have been more thoughtful back then. But I, again, I was a kid and I was just going through it. I didn't really do anything too crazy when I was a, a teenager, so. The craziest thing that I did was like, my friends and I would sneak out of my house all the time. <laughs> How to remain confident and not get jealous when you see girls with nicer bodies all around you. This is like one of those questions that it's really hard to answer because at the end of the day, it just comes down to confidence and self-esteem and knowing that someone else's beauty like doesn't take away from yours. But I also, like I get it, I, I really do. It's really unfortunate that it's so common for women to have insecurities and to compare ourselves to each other and decide our own worth based off of that. Like it, it actually breaks my heart because I, I relate to that. Like when I read that question, I was like, I get it. I fully understand that feeling. It really does just come down to the fact that you simply can't think that way. You can't compare yourself. You have to actively work towards embracing who you are, embracing your own beauty and understanding that like that person can be as beautiful as they are and so are you and this is like me talking to myself this is something that i have to remind myself all the time i promise you guys i struggle so much with insecurities i struggle with comparison every single day i don't think social media makes it any better it does sometimes especially on like a bad day it can really get to you but it's one of those things that i have to just work on we all have to work on as a society we have to work on have there been any changes in your life recently and are you feeling happy sometimes i feel like there's like always big changes happening in my life, especially over the last two, two and a half years. Like it's just been one thing after the other, but in like the best way possible. I think that that's like what your 20s are all about. You know, we're, we're trying to figure ourselves out. So one cool thing that is super new um, is that I went to audit an acting class yesterday, which was the most interesting experience, completely and totally outside of my comfort zone. And I think that's the best thing about it. In a way, it's sort of like therapy. You have to be very vulnerable, open, honest, accepting of yourself. And those are all the things that I am actively working on. I'll be auditing some classes here and there and trying to figure out um, if I want to actually take some and join a studio and maybe, who knows, maybe do some acting. We'll see, we'll, we'll see if I can. If not, I think it would just be good to take some classes and um, just learn more about myself. So that's super cool. I'm also actively uh, trying to find a therapist right now, which I'm so proud and so excited to talk about. I feel like I've been talking about it for a long time, but I've been calling therapists and trying to find one that takes my insurance, which can we just all like, therapy is so, freaking expensive it, it's like disgustingly expensive um, and a lot of therapists don't take insurance it's frustrating it's a bit discouraging I think a lot of people don't do therapy because it's so expensive and if you're gonna choose between having groceries for a week or going to see a therapist like of course you're gonna choose the groceries right that makes sense so it's like it's it's frustrating it's been hard hoping that by the end of this month I'll actually start therapy and I think that it will be such a beneficial thing in my life just to have someone to talk to you, to understand myself, to work through my childhood trauma, which I think we all have. But other than that, it's been pretty steady. I feel good, I feel happy, I have my days where I don't feel this way. I think once I start therapy, I'll be able to handle my bad days a little bit better, which will really improve my quality of life. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm like so excited to talk about it on my YouTube channel, honestly. Um, it's been a long time coming. Last question here, what's your favorite thing about your boyfriend? I like his heart without getting too sappy. I think like the goodness about him is my favorite part. He's just genuinely one of the, the most supportive, kindest people that I've ever met. It's amazing being someone that like fully supports everything that you do and everything that you put yourself in and just wants the best for you. Like I see it and I feel it and it's, it's really nice to have someone like that, so yeah. Um, we're gonna leave that off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this Q&A. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.